crowd as they announce that the next match on court will feature the mega star of Chinese badminton. Lin Dan. Surprising that Lin Dan making his first ever appearance at Super Series Finals. Three previous Super Series Finals have taken place. Tago, black or green? He calls green. So, Tago is won the toss of the coin, David Craig, our umpire from Scotland. Of course, Lin Dan actually seeded three here at the Super Series Finals because he finished the year after the 12 Super Series events as number three on the Super Series list. Chen Long, of course, was the number two ranked player on that list. But of course, Lin Dan is the number two player in the world at the moment on the world ranking list. So Lin Dan, a 28 year old from Fuzhou, the capital city of Fujian province. Fifty-nine and five, great win, loss record for the year, and that translates into eight finals and six titles from those eight finals. Kanichi Targo, number twelve in the world rankings, but number six on the Super Series ranking, having competed in all twelve of the Super Series events. Great supporter of the Super Series. Now there's confirming. What I was telling you just a moment ago that the head to head encounters. And Ian, I think it's a little bit surprising that they've only met once previously. Yes, when you look at the results of Targo over the last 12 months, he's improved dramatically. World rankings gone up. You would have expected them to have met more than just once. A bit of a contrast in there. Career titles one, Lindan 46, Kanichi Targo three, and not even a Grand Prix title. Three international event titles and in the international tournaments, a tier lower than the Grand Prix. Opened his campaign at the Super Series Finals here. Kenichi Targo with a wonderful win over former World and Olympic Champion Taufik Hidiat. 21-7 in the deciding game. Ladies and gentlemen, on my left, Kenichi Targo, Japan. And on my right, Lin Dan, China.
doesn't look to have completely fluent movement at the moment. And Dan perhaps struggling in the cold conditions to completely warm up. Shot from Targo. Yeah, nice aggressive start from the youngster. And Dan just feeling his way into the game. Happy to play high to the rear court, give Targo a little bit of time. And so far, Targo's taken full advantage, beating him twice with that cross court forehand smash so far. Yeah, nice return. But one would imagine that Lindan will be pretty motivated to win this match. Two reasons for that, presumably. He will want to end top of the group and therefore, in all probability, avoid meeting the world number one, Lee Chong Wei, in the semi finals. And secondly, if he was to win, then of course his teammate Chen Long definitely qualifies for the semi finals. Well, there's two very good reasons. Well, I'm sure that he'll be keen to find his form sooner rather than later. That's good attack again from Targo. Intercepting the shuttle early up that forehand wing of the court. Getting up early, this time going for the body smash to the centre. As you say, Lindan not quite at his fluent best yet. Feeling his way into this game. Great net. Shuffle just getting caught in the nets. Yeah, I think Lindan will be more than happy with a, a rally like that just to play himself in, get range Cool, good, that's not correct, I don't think. Well, it was a good net from Targo. Went for the big smash, and then down a little bit off balance. Thought he'd pushed it out the side, yeah, and I think he had. Yeah. Well, the problem for the umpire is that it's the far side of the court from where he's sitting, and it's desperately difficult for him to see where an, a clear error has been made. But in my humble opinion, that was a clear error. Yeah, he's a long way away from it, though. Difficult for him. Yeah, it was 
the tight spinning net shot that forced the short lift. Yeah, he's playing well on the net so far, Targo. He's getting in early, taking his chances. Mm. Good smash, too. 168 miles per hour. Yeah. Get many, many singles players hitting that hard. It's normally the men's doubles players that are up above the 270 mark. stay with Lynn down throughout the rally but in the end his precision was just too much for him Seven, six. Eight, six. Well, he knows it's got to be tight. He's decided that's going to be a strategy to try and get in and take the shuttle early and go for the really tight spinning net shots. When you do that, you're going to make one or two mistakes. He's played that return of serve. And twice he's won the point from it. Nine, uh, a little seven. inside out. chance of defending that using the full width of the court Targa was able to defend when tight to his forehand wing Seven. but then hit down straight down the other line couldn't deal with it Well, from 2-4 down, suddenly starting to move much better, started to be more positive. Yeah, just worked his way in, didn't he? Nice and solid to start with. Oh, I'm a little surprised while the coaches come on to court at the mid-game interval for Lindan. Targo's coaches have remained in their seats. Well, is, that's very odd. He's got two coaches in the coaching chairs. Neither of them are going to talk to him. I don't quite understand that, I have to say. Yeah, you can see the two coaches there. No, nope, they're not even looking at him. Now, but Lindan, as we were saying, worked his way into the game. A couple of steady, solid rallies, one pace just to get moving early on. And then gradually, as the game went on, started to mix his pace up. A few changes of direction. It's good net again from Targo. It's a super lift from Lindan. And in the end, he's just forced it out the side. Ran out of ideas. Played a great net. You would normally expect to get a short lift from that, but Lindan able to control the spinning shuttle. Hit a great length to the rear court.
needs to start clawing his way back now, Targo. That's a good shot. And that. Oh, but that's magnificent. He's lost the point. Played two shots there that could well have won the point against most of the players in the world. Lindan equal to it. We'll see how he picks this up. That's super agility. It really is. Look how quickly he's back on his feet. And the next shot, able to find a winner. He needs to be accurate to get through this Lindan defence. This time just a little off balance and just pushes it out the side. Such a, an array of shots from wherever he is on the court. Just cannot tell which way it's going to go. I think no. he may have got him a little out of position or off balance, but he's still managed to play anything. Yeah, he can change the direction, but he can change the pace so easily as well. That fixes his opponent quite deep in the defensive position. And then with that one, he just brought it down steeper and slower. Good patience from Targo, staying with him, Lindan there. Extending the rally, being less aggressive. Nine. Targo not being tempted into taking any risk, risks. Chicago, end of the court. Gives both players the opportunity to tell that. It was interesting what you were saying to me the other day, Ian, about one of the other Japanese youngsters in the women's singles, Sato, Sayaka Sato saying how she really needed to develop and improve as a player rather than play so many tournaments and you know having watched Targo over the last six months or so you know he burst onto the world stage when he reached the All England final and, uh, a year ago 2010 and I think he has worked on his skills he's he's had a period of time where he didn't get results that a lot of people were expecting but I think he has developed his game over that period of time and therefore his potential to go even further. I mean, he's got beautiful skills. 
he's struggling sometimes to to keep up with Lindam, but we're already seeing today some a wonderful array of shots. Yeah, he's a very talented player. But he went through the same phase as uh, Sato's going through at the moment in ladies singles, where uh, he played a lot, a lot of tournaments when he burst onto the scene. He played at international level, Grand Prix, Super Series, you know, to get a lot of matches under his belt. And he went through a very bad patch, a little bit like Sato is at the moment. She's going through a little bad patch at the moment. But he's a good example, it'd be a good example for her to look at. He's worked his way through that. He's raised his level, he's raised his world ranking, and now he's playing less events. Gives him more time to concentrate on his skills work and his physical preparation for these bigger events. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a great shot. Super. too low. He'll take that earlier if he wants to play the spin net there. Looks a simple mistake, but you just don't know what Lindan's going to do. You know he's got all the deceptive net shots, and then suddenly flicks one with no real preparation to the rear court, and it looks like he made an easy mistake, but really, you just don't know where the shuttle's going. Great rally. Hit it long, and therefore Lindan converts on his first game point opportunity. 21-11. 19 minutes. It's a very different game to that of the one we witnessed in Paris. Well, again, it's a very odd coaching break from the, the Japanese side. They bought a clean shirt on for him, gave him the clean shirt. Shirt. Targo changed it and they'd walked off and he chased after them to have a word with them. Sure, I'm not sure that these are actually his coaches, I have to say. Certainly not the national not members of the national coaching team. I mean Targo, he's done nothing really wrong in that first game. Right. He's played some great badminton. Some of the rallies have been of the highest level. But uh yeah. Lindan looks in really confident form this week. Mm -hmm. He can play fast, he can play slow, he can play deceptive. He's mixing his game up really well. Of course, next summer, Lindam will try and become the first man in the history of the Olympic badminton competition to retain a men's singles title. Been done in the women's singles, been done in the 
women's doubles and it's been done in the mixed doubles. Gurfei and Gujun, I think, were the first ever to retain Olympic titles. I'm just trying to think of any of any of the men's singles winners actually tried to defend it. Yes. In a lot of instances, they've retired afterwards. No, well, well we've got, uh, of course, Hideyat. Yep, yep, good point. Certainly, the first the first three that won it didn't, didn't def try to defend, weren't at the next games. Well, of course, if Hideyat does qualify for London, it will be his fourth Olympics. Yeah, yeah that's, that's incredible longevity at this level. Same for Gaida. Yeah, that's true. Missed it. Mm. Surprised he didn't attack that one. Yeah, he's just mixing it up though, isn't he? Just playing some different shots. He looks supremely confident at the moment. So it was a good recovery from Targo, who's going completely in the wrong direction. Managed to change direction, get his racket on the shuttle, but couldn't control it. Game makes it look so easy. That's a difficult Five, shot. Two. That's good, but Targo's sticking to his task. When he gets opportunities, he's not hesitating, he's going for it, he's staying positive, not getting down. Shows good aggression here. Getting in quickly behind the smash to finish from the front court. Good play.
good play from Targo. It's good, and another example, he's really sticking well to his task here, Targo. A couple of times in this second game already, he's been beaten all ends up by great shots from Lindan, but he's not, he's not got down, he's not let his head go down. Sticking to his task, playing one point at a time. Defense. Yeah, there's no answer to that though. Moved down there so early, just fixes, fixes his racket, forces Targo to stop, breaks his movement pattern. Here we'll see it. Early fix. Quick change of direction, sending Targo the wrong way. Seems able to win points at will. Well, oh dear, what's going on here? Like he's calling for the tournament doctor. A uh, little plaster or bandage needed for his finger I think oh my goodness we don't want any more withdrawals from Lindan it's happened six times in the past 12 months part way through a tournament including the last time he played against Targo and I'm absolutely certain it isn't a major injury worry in. I'm sure it's just a, a little plaster required. But what is the rule if you've pretty much already qualified, or if you've definitely qualified for the semi finals and you pulled out of a, a last group match, are you allowed to play in the semi finals? No, I don't think no. No, it's a withdrawal from the tournament. It has, it's the same rule as a straight knockout, but once, you, once you're deemed to be injured on court, that's the end of your tournament if you can't complete a match. Now, does that also apply to doubles players? So if you pull out of a, a women's doubles, you can't then compete the next day in the mixed doubles. It could conceivably be a bit of food poisoning no or I think like it's a, it, it's the event I'm so it's, sure the it's the discipline event it's the discipline yes right yeah just to clarify that oh. just outside Targo gets back on level terms again it's playing a really dogged second game here really sticking to his task smash I got a feeling just in the corner of his eye he saw Lindan had read it and was already there yeah so because of the mistake oh, good defense gets up here and look at that that creates the angle the steep angle that Targo just can't deal with 
Well, not his fastest smash so far in this match, and not as fast as his opponent. Thank you. But it was the angle that was so devastating. Turn stepped in, took it early. It again, he was two points down for the third time in this game, and he's dragged it back all square again. And every time so far that there's been a little hint of danger or catching up or maybe even going in front, then Lindan just seems to up his pace, up his intensity, another couple of points or so. there <laughs> and the wry smile from Targo because he had worked so hard in that rally Ooh. was it in oh, that was close I've seen those call both ways Again, coaches stay in their seats. I think he has actually spoken to them, but yeah, it seems though he's only talking about the line call, though, I think. Acceleration now from Lindan after the mid game interval. Missed it. Uh, just out. Nice idea, just trying to guide it down the line. And Dan was expecting the drop recovery. He just 
put a bit of extra pace on it, but just lost a bit of precision. good Fourteen, nine. Oh. Oh. disappointed with that one Ten. read it got up early Fourteen. just dragged it down into the top of the net That net shot very well, Targo. Racket arm outstretched. Press the shuttle early. Twelve. That's good again. Sat down nicely, gets in quickly behind it. Just a little hold, little hold. Breaks the movement pattern of Lindan. His reaction after making that error, very telling. He knows how important that rally was. 16 defensively playing that backhand defense I'm sure the shuttle had gone past him and still managed to be so accurate Oh, that's just ridiculous. Unbelievable. Played a net cord off a net cord. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see a replay of this. That's the shot before. No, we're not going to see it. Yeah. Finally, Targo's resistance has been broken. time in the match since about the first three rallies that we've seen Lindan left stranded. Yeah, Targo took his chance. Saw Lindan was taking it late, gambled, brought his base forward. Lindan was nowhere near it. That's 
Seven match points. Hey, only needed the one. 21 11, 21 13 in 41 minutes. Well, Ian, you called it. You said he was looking impressive this week, Lindan. Loves playing at home, loves playing in front of the Chinese fans. And he's responded accordingly. He's raised his game. As Tonga didn't play badly. He played well. He's got nothing to be ashamed of in that match. Here's the end there. Look at that touch from low down. And look at the kill. Off the tape. Fantastic skill. I think it makes it makes the match later on this evening even more vital between Peter Gader and Lee Chong Wei. Neither of them will want Lin Dan in the semi-final in this form. So there's confirmation of the score, confirmation that Lin Dan will top the group and Chen Long will qualify also for the semi-finals. So our first two matches this evening on day three of competition here at the Super Series Finals in Luzhou in China. And both of our first two matches in two straight games and it confirms that from Group B of the men's singles, Lin Dan tops the group and Chen Long, the number two seed, qualifies for the semi-finals also.